Right, so the first bit says, evaluate it on your calculator. Let's put brackets around it. So let's get the calculator up. So in menu one, if I do F4 for math, and then you can see some differentiation bits so in the right area, F6 takes you to integrate, and then F1. So I'm going to put the equation in as I see it. So I've got shift ln e, and then I've got x over 2. Press right twice to take me down to the bit. And then if I press right, it takes me to the bottom. So that's a 1. And then if I press up, it takes me to the 4. And that gives me minus 0 0.519. So minus 0 0.519. So part B says, I explain why it's wrong if I want the area between 1 and 4. So let's just nip back to our calculator and let's graph it then. So menu 5, uh, get rid of that. So shift E, power X over 2, press right twice, minus 4. Uh, just change my axes a bit. I want between 1 and 4, so if I plot it between 0 and 5, Let's see what that looks like. There you go. And you can see that the area contained, so G solve F6, integration, integration, 1, 4. You can see, look, look at the picture. It's contained up and below. So you have a negative area that takes away from it. So I'm just going to draw that picture, which has now disappeared off the screen, which is not helpful. So there, oh, there's my 1. There's my four. So it says explain why it's not the area. It's because there is a negative area. I check the time. Two minutes five. There's a negative area that affects the overall area. There. Okay, so that's why. So I need to split it then, don't I? If I want to do it, I need to split it. Now, there's an issue here. If I use my calculator, if I do G solve and find the root, it gives me a value which isn't exact. And the calculator says exact. So I need to find out where y is zero. So my e to the x over 2 minus 4, let's move that down out of the way, is equal to zero. So if I do a little bit of rearranging, so e to the x over 2 is 4. Take logs x over 2 is log 4, and x is 2 log 4. Now, I actually recorded this yesterday and changed my mind about how I did it. The formula is e to the x over 2. So when I put replace the x with a log 4, or 2 log 4, the 2s will cancel and make it a little bit easier. Because I had it as log 16, then I had to go back. So <clears throat> let's have a look. So I've got the, the negative area is the integral from 1 to 2 log 4 of e to the x over 2 minus 4 dx. Now if I do this in my calculator, it will give me a, a decimal value. And it says exact, so I've got to show the working. I've got to do the working, unfortunately. So that would give me... Now, oh, <laughs> this gets complex on many terms. If I was differentiating e, I'd just differentiate the x over 2, which is a half, and stick it at the front. So because I'm integrating e, I've got to divide by the half, which is a 2. And then the minus 4 becomes a minus 4x. But you won't like that 2 at the front for a while. So if I put in the 2 log 4, it's 2e. So the 2 log 4 over 2 minus 4 lots of 2 log 4 minus putting in the 1. Uh, I'm just going to pause it. I don't know. Yeah, I'm just going to pause it while I'm filling the other bit. Now, I'm running out of time, but I want to kind of show you the cancelling. So the 2 cancels with the 2. And then I've got an E, so the LN4. The E and the LN cancel out as well. So all I've got is a 2 times 4 there. So let me pause it and I'll just expand some brackets. So I've just got an 8 minus 8 LN4 minus 2 e to the half plus 4. I'm going to run out of time, but that, this is my negative area. So this is a bit that I'll have to kind of get rid of the negative. It's going to run out now.